Well, as I'm passing through the lobby of Mikali's uh, boutique, you know, humble, humble hippie hotel, uh, I notice his uh, his mission uh, declaration on his bulletin board uh, by the entrance, and I photographed it so I can read it to you now later. Uh, many people offer to buy my home so they can make a just another bar, and Mikali says. My answer is no, Oshi, oh, Oshi. Oh, Never sell something you love. Born in this house, this home is a paradise for me, and I will live here forever. Nature, luscious roads, huh? Peace, <sighs> yeah. Music, art, and love are everything. I hope for nothing. I am afraid of nothing. That's what Kazantzakis put on his tombstone, famous Greek writer Kazantzakis. I have no hope, I have no fear. Um, and I don't need much money. I only want to be happy. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. You know? Love and peace. Since I was a young boy until this moment that my hair turned white, I have done what I could to offer something good. I will continue to do so as long as I am alive and breathing. Hey, Megali. <laughs> All right, famished. From my jet lagged uh, body, I hesitantly emerged from the massive. This is, walls are like 20 feet thick. We're talking cannonballs, they just bounce off like little BBs from a pellet gun. Sorry, Ottoman Turks. <laughs> uh, and a little surprisingly, I become overwhelmed with culture shock. I really haven't been out of America for the last 20 years. I've been running my house cleaning business, and you know how easy it is to get caught up, keeping the car repaired, running up your credit cards. I just got kind of trapped by the Americana matrix for 20 years now i'm out and i'm in culture shock i i can't ever remember being in culture shock before so but i am and i have to sit down it's that strong i have to sit down on a park bench amidst palm trees and uh little pyramidal stacks of cannonballs hmm pretty you know i noticed every greek is wearing jeans both men and women, and leather jackets. Not very feminine. Like, wear a dress, show some leg, or something. Like, come on, you know. Uh, well, there's no feather dusters around here and cleaning kits. I'm I'm out of my depth. You know, just what's going on. Well, I, I, I carry on. I'm so I meander to the vegetable market where they sell fresh fish. It's a very fishy situation, the Aegean. And vegetables and stuff like that, you know. And um, wow, I become more oriented when I come upon a rotating newspaper rack with international newspapers, German, French. International Herald Tribune, you know, it's like, oh, phew, a little oasis of familiarity there. Um, you know what? I, I got to relax and realize I'm an indigenous earthling. Thanks, Mom. A world citizen. Lucky to have traveled that much, huh? Yeah. And I am on the world road. I'm not just going from San Francisco 
to Eugene, Oregon. No, I'm on the, you know, as big as it gets road. On roads, where Cicero taught speech on roads by putting pebbles in his mouth. There's a lot of smooth pebbles on roads. I could probably use some of that. I've just got this micro lisp and sound like my notes is plugged up all the time. I really need to upgrade that ASAP. I'll try. Okay. Um, well, there's grand patisseries serving these gourmet European baked goods with these huge awnings over them outdoors facing the little harbor of Mondraki. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, and this is where, in antiquity, the gigantic Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, Rhodes, Colossus of Rhodes, stood right here, right where I'm looking at. Um, and his bronze thighs, we'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, now I'm faced with a virgin experience. Never in my life have I ever had to deal with euros. Euros, where's the drachmas with the beautiful printed different colored drachma banknotes? Now they're euro homogenized. Hmm. Well, I, I, these are beyond budget. Okay, uh, give me a kilo of roasted pistachio, no, make it half kilo, roasted pistachios. Uh, I'll take a small bottle of Ouzo, please, and I'll take three newspapers, Times of London, International Herald Tribune, and the Athens paper, and I'll try to get with the swing of the local thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. There, I, I self-award me. <laughs> you know. uh, a goddess is a pro. You know, treat yourself just a little bit. You've come a long way. Kid. Um, yeah, World Citizen Travel Prizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I applaud myself for this whole foolish adventure. <laughs> yeah, so far. And I exit the stage an old man, slightly limping. Yeah, my knee's fucked up. Toward the massive walls of the Crusader Castle. Who wrote this opera? Just picture that. Huh? Old man limping toward the castle. How does this story turn out? Oh, okay, I got my little prizes. I'm back in my penthouse bedroom. And this is when I freak out my extremely delinquent memory runners. When I firmly demand they remember every time that I have visited Rhodes for the last 50 years since I was born. They panic. Yeah, they say, what? Uh, and they, uh, they, they counter-propose to work the crossword puzzle in the International Herald Tribune. They try to throw me off. And I think a review of how many times I visit Road would make a big splash, like in a book about this, you know, if it ever came to that, huh? Oh, no, memory runner, put your running shoes on because you got some rusty file cabinets to try to open up. 